everyone. My name is Kelly. If you don't already know me, I am here um, to chat with you guys about a PCS binder. But I brought a special guest because I know you guys are probably already sick of seeing my face. So I want to introduce you to one of our awesome team members. Her name is Jessica Birch. She has joined us uh, from also from her other company that she runs called Powerhouse Planning. But she has actually jumped on board with the Millie team and is helping us create tons of amazing content for you all as military families to help you with your move. So, without further ado, I'm going to bring on Jessica because she knows a lot more about PCS binders than I do, believe it or not. <laughs> so, okay, let's see if this works. There we go. Yay. Hey, Jessica. Thanks so much. Hello, for everyone. Us. Hi. <laughs> so, okay, you guys, really quickly before we jump in, I want to just call your attention to my comment and then the first little um, post I see four of you guys are watching us. Thanks so much for joining. Um, but I want to be able to pull your comments into the stream. If you guys can just click on that little link, um, it's like an Ecamm link, you just have to click and allow it permission, and then we'll be able to see everything that you guys are saying and asking us, and we'll be able to push your comment onto the screen so that the entire group can benefit from your voice. So, hi Jessica, <laughs> how's it going? Hello. <laughs> okay, you ready for this? Yes! <laughs> okay, so this is so, so super simple, I promise. We made it easy on everyone. So like Kelly was saying, we have the download, and I'm just gonna walk you through literally what you need, how to make it happen. And I, and I did two, I made two batches this weekend of binders and it took me under 30 minutes, like so awesome. super fast. So now I am type A and Kelly can t um, tell you that's yes. the truth. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I made my binder and whoever wins the free binder, it's super type A. You don't have to go as type A as I did, um, but I'm gonna walk you through the type A version <laughs> and, then, and then you can decide how you wanna roll. So there are binder, um, one of the things you'll notice in the download, there are binder inserts, like the, I think we might have called them binder tabs. So I'm going to hold it up so you can see. And this is, so every single part of your binder is going to have one of these that kind of divide it off. And if you want to go type A like me, then you can use that as well as tabs, because I'm all about tabs. So I'm going to walk you through and tell you the things you're going to need, a binder, you're going to need the tabs, print those out. And then um, I encourage you to get, I don't even know what you call like sheet protectors. And I'll explain why in a second, because you're going to want to use some dry erase markers. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm talking type A. And then, um, and then I put in like one of those clear envelopes that zip a pen and a notepad. So super simple and your dry erase marker. So whoever wins this binder, like literally you're getting a package deal. You have everything in there. So I'm going to walk you through it real quick and explain some things. So the first tab is your PCS to um, move to do checklist. And it's so not supposed to be overwhelming. It's just simple. It says the basic things like set up the move, finalize delivery, all the little nitpicky things that you need to do. Um, if you're like my family, my husband and I like divide and conquer. So I put the date that the person's going to be working on it and who owns it. So my husband literally, I mean, we have like family team meetings and we go through who's going to do what because it is kind of overwhelming and it's a lot to do. So we go ahead and decide who's picking up the medical forms, who's doing this, who's doing that. And we do all of that. And then um, we just chat about it throughout the process and cross it off. And we did something. Um, I've never done this before in my binder, so, but we made you a little additional sheet because I feel like there's all those last minute things you kind of forget about. So we went ahead and threw that in here as well. So you have the stuff that we you definitely are going to have to do. And then you're just um, miscellaneous sheet that you can create. Now you'll notice these aren't in um, protective covers because it's stuff each PCS you're going to do, use, and throw away because you won't. Things change. Sometimes you rent. Sometimes you buy. Everything changes with PCS and you're in a different season of life. Sometimes you have one child. The next PCS, you have three, like me. <laughs> um, so... Then the next area is travel plans. And I know this is old school. I created um, the first PCS binder. I think it's been six years now. Um, so now we use our phones for almost everything, but I went ahead and put a travel plan section in here. Um, I think Kelly and I, we, we might do another one of these in a few months to kind of talk about some tips. But one thing we do, we stop at all the state parks whenever we're PCSing oh, yeah. over the summer mm -hmm. um, because we have a dog that we travel with too, which makes it super tricky to get into hotels. And obviously you can't take a dog into a mall if you want to go take a break. So we tend to stop at state parks. So for travel plans, I put things that are just random, like places we're going to stop or um, I'm trying to think like south of the border whenever we travel oh, from stop, Virginia. Don't stop there. <laughs> yes. We do. 
<laughs> you must. Um, you must. When you see it's like a mini Disneyland off of the side of the highway, you're like, what's going on? That place scares me. <laughs> um, but anyway, so all those weird random places that you're going to stop because you see 20 billboards about them, then mm-hmm. you should go there. Um, <laughs> the next section is PCS checklist. Okay, this is where super type A comes into play. Um, so this is when you'll probably want to use your dry erase marker. Uh, and I'll tell you why. There's different pages. There's a family packing list. Uh, what did we call it? Uh, men's, ladies, and an, a baby um, packing list. But the reason I would encourage you to use the dry erase, because you can use this list again when you go on family mm-hmm. vacation. Um, I will tell you, and my husband would never admit it, but every time before he goes out to sea, guess what he uses? <laughs> Um, he tends to grab this packing list primarily because when you're out at sea, like you can't pull into CBS to grab you band-aids, you know what I mean? Or whatever, but you get the point. Like this, it has any and everything that you're going to need to survive for a little bit of time. So, um, just use your dry erase marker and then you can use it throughout the year if needed as well. Um, and then the last sheet in that packing checklist is the cleaning checklist. This is the kind of stuff that, I don't know, for me, the first few PCSs, like I just didn't. I just didn't think um, about some of the stuff that you were supposed to do. And so this has everything on it that if you should probably do it to get ready for the next tenants that are moving into your house, or if you're selling your house, um, you know, to get ready for the people that are getting ready to move in just to be kind and clean up um, the house. So there's that section. Then the next one. Wait, before you go on, I want to mention that Jen's with you. She says you have to stop at South of the Border. (laughs) See, at least one. You've stopped, right, Kelly? Have you stopped no, there? No, no. Kelly. No. I, so I, I'm from South Carolina, and it's an embarrassment to us. No. <laughs> Sorry for you South of the Border fans, but I'm just like, Bleh, every time I see Not, not even once? You no, never even think It's like, like a horror show waiting to happen. Like, no. That's a bad idea. Do not do that. Do not. Well, you Life's could- too short. Mm-mm. Well, you can kind of tell too, because like each time we drive by, like there's less lights, there's less it's, buildings. It's I'm like, like completely decrepit, and no, don't stop there. I don't even. I didn't, I didn't even know it was like open to the public for a long time. I thought it was just like ruins on the side of the. Sorry, you guys. If you stop there, if you love it, I apologize. I'm not a fan. <laughs> so, but well, I'm team. Definitely... I'm team south of the border. It's so don't worry. Part. Yeah, hashtag team south of the border, or hashtag no way and you know where. <laughs> So, anyway, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> so then the next um, section is the change of address templates. And truthfully, you probably don't even need to necessarily put this in your binder. Um, but this is just to make your life easier. There's so many things that you're going to have to do with magazine subscriptions, bills. Um, I'm trying to think of other stuff that you might have hanging out there. But just goofy, goofy things that are last minute that you're like, oh, I have to do another change of address. So we've made you a template. Literally fill in your name, your address. And we have two in there. One is if you are, you know, going like a champion and you can get it all done before you move, then we've created you a template that's before you move. If you maybe forgot that you had 10 magazines and you forgot to change the subscription and you're now at your new um, duty station and you're like, hmm, forgot to change all those, then we have the other template that is after you move. It's written so that um, you can do it after you move. So like I said, two templates, we created it in Word. So it's a no brainer, super simple. um, And you can get those done. The next one is PCS tips. And, um, and Kelly, I mean, you can address this however you want, but I feel like we have a good start of tips, but we have so many other tips that we can add to this Mm -hmm. and we should add to this. So if, People, as you read through this, please, we like really, really want you to share with us more tips that we should add to this section because we know we're missing some. <laughs> like, we know we don't have all the answers and we know we haven't learned everything. I feel like I'm going on my sixth PCS this summer and I feel like every single time I'm learning something. Yeah. So, well, share even just from our little Wednesday thread. So, if you guys yeah. are following along in the group, every Wednesday we're doing like PCS hacks. So yeah. y'all better believe we're reading your comments and we're like, oh, that's a good one. That should go in. Yeah. Like most of these things, yeah. like we've either heard of or it reinforces what we already kind of practice. Um, right. One thing I'm learning is I need to reach out to Ziploc and yeah. uh, see about some kind of brand partnership. But yeah. you, you guys use a lot of Ziploc baggies. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so, that's true. Uh, just little true. stuff like that. Yeah. If you guys have stuff, especially like, let's keep it all together. If you guys have tips that you think should go in a binder or things that we should add to our binder. We're yeah. we're all ears and we are creating this stuff for you guys. It's free. 
um, you can just go in there and grab it. So, um, and yeah. it, the link is in the post, you guys, also, if you don't already have one. Um, but yeah, we're happy to adjust and, and make it whatever you guys need it to be. And I kind of, I envision it each year. We'll try, this is a living document. So every yeah, year we'll make this sure. even stronger. So like Kelly said, we'll track what you guys are saying. We'll add to it. So please, please share. I mean, the more we know, the easier all of our PCSs are. Yeah, Let's be exactly. honest. Um, Jen says so a couple of tips that I wanted to uh, point out just because they, they were huge for us in the learning process of PCS moves. Um, so the first one is when you're traveling with animals, if you use a fitted sheet and you cover all of your car, um, like your like we have bench seating in our car. So if you cover it with a fitted sheet, it's beautiful and it makes traveling with your dog um, or whatever animal, but for us, it's always been dogs. It's so much easier. So just keep that in mind. That was one of my big ones that I learned and it took me a while to learn that. I would get so frustrated when we got to our, you know, our next station, I'd be like, oh, my car is so mm -hmm. yucky. Um, so that's a good tip. The other one that I wanted to tell you, once again, didn't know this the first move, but the second move we learned, we should have a whole section of our house that is the do not move section. Oh, yes. Um, but it's tricky, right? Because most of the stuff you need to move, like you can't throw it all in a crib, for example, because they need to move the crib. Mm -hmm. So what we've done in the past is if, if you have a house that has a tub that you're not going to use. Oh, that's smart. Mm -hmm. So we use the tub oftentimes and we try to put as much as we can in the tubs and then we just don't use the tubs for that week. Um, and the movers, trust me, they're like, what, what are they doing? But we put big signage that says do not move and, yeah. and they knew. Yeah. Um, and all, <laughs> You guys, wait till you see how I PCS. I will be sharing pictures, and you can just be along for the ride of this fun. <laughs> um, the other thing, um, the other thing that I we have, so we have three children. I think I mentioned that earlier, and I always thought I needed help um, at pack, like pack up, pack out, whatever you call it. And whenever I got to the new station, but for me, I have found that it's so much better. Um, just once I get to the new house, because unpacking is the beast for us. It's not really when we're packing up. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. And I mean, you know, do what you, if you can have help the whole time, then go for it. But I know this, this move that we're getting ready to do, um, my husband won't be able to be here right. <laughs> whenever we're packing up the house. Um, and I'm okay with that. Like as long as I can have 800 people at the next house to help me unpack, we're golden. Um, and there was a couple other things. Oh, this one's huge. If you can, if you can go ahead and take down your curtains, wall hangings, yeah. Anything that, and we go ahead and wash them and here oh, it's smart. Yeah. And we actually put them in trash bags yep. um, so that they're ready for the next house. Yeah. Again, we, and the, the reason we learned that and you guys have probably heard stories of this, but we didn't do that with our shower curtain once. And we got to the next station and I'm like, Oh, like my shower <laughs> curtain was molded to everything in the box. Um, so just That's think great. about things, that you can, <laughs> think about things that you can clean and then yeah. be ready for the next, um, feel and like sanitize. I'm just like, just like keep it. Yeah. Cause people were, they were, that was one of the big comments in one of the threads last week or the week before, um, pillows and, and things that you yeah. like, listen, y'all, no, nobody, including yourself, but definitely not the movers are washing their hands all day when they're packing your Seriously. stuff. Like yeah. it is what it is. It's just yeah. kind of a big you know what show so they're yeah. throwing stuff in so yeah if you've washed your dishes saran wrap them if you've washed yeah. your you know go ahead and do all your linens and stuff put them in a yeah. bag get them already kind of like compartmentalized yeah uh, to make that easier so yeah that's and, a great tip and that's what we so with all even um all of our clothes each drawer we put in a, a trash bag and then tie it up and put it mm -hmm. back in the drawer um oh, for, uh, smart. It, and it just makes it so much easier once you get to the house because you know how you all you all know you have your top drawer that goes in this your second yep. drawer is t-shirts yep. and so for us it's beautiful you open that bag and you're like oh my t-shirt drawer um and it's good to go so yep. so you know what this could be sponsored by ziploc and hefty let's be and honest um, Mari, how about marie kondo like oh my gosh yeah like, right? her everything she does is like perfect for us so i know that's kind yeah. of like the new like it's funny we're like oh it's such a craze and we're like well military <laughs> families have been doing this forever <laughs> so, we kind of have an advantage but yeah, yeah for sure ziploc glad and kanmari <laughs> yep yep um i'm trying to think if there's any other um a lot of i think we didn't we didn't know this again early in the beginning but also you can um have the movers just give you an empty box that say yeah. bed linens and you can sleep in your bed <laughs> yeah. all the way up until like the last day. 
Um, but just keep in mind, you will want to wash those sheets then <laughs> once, yeah. once it gets to the final, um, the moving thing. And then the last one that is, well, two, that's huge. Uh, just keep in mind, you can always have them take the boxes with you when you get to the next house. Um, and there are either people like team, keep the boxes or team, get rid of oh, the boxes. Right, for sure. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's another, you got, yeah, it, let's see it. Hashtag keep the boxes or get rid of them. <laughs> yeah. And I will tell you, I am hashtag get rid of them. Yeah, um, me too. And, and I'll tell you, it our house, and I will, I will share pictures throughout this whole, it is insane what happens. Like, I literally just let them dump everything everywhere um, just to make sure. But, but I, I've been smart in the move, like, before we get ready to move. I make sure to walk through each room and I label. Like, so here's my office. If this is going to be my, my office in the next house, then I make sure that they label all the boxes to say office. Yeah. If this is going to be in the basement at the next house, like let's say my office is even going to be down in the basement. I go ahead and put basement yep. <laughs> so that when we get to the next house, like I am set and whenever they dump everything in that location, like I am ready to roll. Um, and I will tell you, and you guys have probably heard this before, but it's so true that the longer you keep boxes and empty boxes and you keep putting them on the curb, you are at higher risk to get broken into our very first PCS, oh, our house yeah. did get broken into. Um, Good point. but you, we all, we were not, we were not smart. I mean, we would just, mm -hmm. yeah. it just wasn't smart. Like we, you could tell we were new to the neighborhood. We kept putting boxes out. Um, they knew like we were painting doors were open. So just really, really be yeah. smart. And I'm not saying you have to get rid of the boxes, but um, just be smart when you get rid of them. You know yeah, what I mean? We have a lot of fans for the get rid of boxes crowd. <laughs> so, <laughs> I think we're all kind of feeling the same way. Like so we used to just pile them up in our garage and get rid of them all. Right. Like, right. right. A, supposedly yeah, I, they'll come and get them. It. Sometimes they won't. I mean, it's so hit or miss with that. Like I don't rely on them. And usually what we do is post on like next door or one of those apps, like a neighborhood yep. kind of app. Cause more like more than likely somebody else is moving out. So yeah. they might appreciate the free boxes. I think I gave totally. mine to a younger woman. Um, that Anyway, it was great. It was, I was like, I don't need them. I'd have to yeah. pay to get rid of them anyway sometimes. So here, have them. And it was great. Well, so. and some, and you can ask your crew before they leave your house, but some people will even, um, you can set up a date that they'll come back and pick all your boxes up. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of smart too. Um, for the mere fact of, if you say like, I want it here in 10 days, it make you make sure that you get through a lot of stuff. It's within true. 10 days. Yeah, you it know? Looks like Annie does that. So we have the movers unpack us, have wait, yep. unpack us, have them take all the boxes of paper. Yeah, and Tell you know, you. gosh, I don't know. I feel like they've always griped when I've asked them to do that. Oh, but they don't like it. They don't <laughs> enjoy it. <laughs> like, like, and, like, and, and really my husband, I, you all, the last PCS, like we rock paper scissor, rock paper scissors. Like, who is gonna have to tell the movers that they were taking all the boxes? <laughs> like, put them. all the stuff together. Because <laughs> apparently, you can ask them to unpack your stuff too. Which I don't know. I, my opinion on that is probably maybe not popular. I don't want them unpacking my stuff just because they're not gonna put it where I want it. And they're just, and you know, like it's, they're, yeah, you know, it's a lame job. That sucks. Like, so I, I just mean, have them to dump it. I, like, my everything thought. gets dumped. Yeah. It, and then, in like, you have no flat surfaces to work on because they're like literally putting all your tchotchkes and trinkets. Like, you don't need yeah. to unpack that box right now, but you know, they don't know yeah. that and they're just, so yeah, yeah. It, it's a, oh, it's definitely a learning curve. You gotta figure out yeah. what your like style is. Yeah. As you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think, so that's it. Oh, and then there's, there's, you know how it is with every binder. There's a miscellaneous section so you can throw whatever the heck you need to in that, um, area, but that's kind of the overview of it. You'll see it in use this year, how we, um, how we use it as a family. <laughs> Yeah. I can't so. wait. I can't wait. So Annie says no, but, the, but I don't care. They don't like it, but I don't care. I am not <laughs> dealing with those boxes and spending the next 24 hours putting my house together. I, yeah, I feel you. Right. I, I don't know. I think I have a, a little more of a relaxed pace when it comes to uh, the box. So this is why I didn't give you guys the um, PCS binder tutorial. So I'm going to show you what my binder looks like. Just for good. <laughs> and this makes me cringe. Jess like had a heart attack when I showed her my binder. Um, someone says that's what they get paid to do it's true it's true I just you know I like so what I do and just to give you guys an example last time I PCS was almost three years ago we went from DC to here for frag and um <laughs> we, it, it was kind of a nightmare move you know as they all are but um <clears throat> we got here we accepted our half of our household goods delivery which is a whole nother show we can do a we could do a show on the way the moves work later um but I 
got the household goods delivery. My kids were actually with my my mom in Charleston, so it was fantastic. I didn't have them. And I actually oh, had smart. a Millie trip scheduled for the following day in Nashville. Oh, sure. So I literally, like, signed the inventory and then got on an airplane and left and told my husband, like, have fun. He didn't touch Good luck. Box. No, he didn't do anything. I thought, like, oh, <laughs> unpack a thing or two. He's like, nope. He sat around his boxers all weekend. I'm just kidding. I love you, darling. Um, <laughs> but, he, but I did. I left. I, like, and this is a whole personality thing, but I just, like, abandoned. Every, I was like, nope, I'm avoiding it. I don't want to deal with it right now. I had no qualms about it. I was like, I'm fine leaving all this stuff. And But I do, like, I do, like, one room at a time. Like, I or, you know, we always have a room that we blockade off. Like, I'm definitely yeah. not one of the set your house up in a week kind of people. Um, it takes me a long time. And that's unfortunate. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Real life. So here's my, okay, real quick, you guys. So we got the overview of what a PCS binder should look like. I mean, let's be real. Um, Not my disaster, which I'm going to show you in a second. But we want to give you guys one. We're going to ship it to you. Just spent time and made one just for you. And we're going to give one away. So the way we're going to do that is if you are PCSing this year, let's just call it this year, um, put the month in the comments. Tell us what month you're moving. Okay, so we'll let this run all day. So anybody that watches this on the replay, you can still participate in the giveaway. So throw the month that you're, and listen, we know it could change. We're not going to hold you to it. <laughs> Let's just assume it's not going to change. Throw like, you know, the month that you're PCSing in the comments. And we'll go through and kind of randomly decide um, who wins. I mean, I'll do it like a raffle copter or something. We'll figure it out. Like, it'll be fair. I'm not going to pick like, pick you based on your profile picture or something. <laughs> But, um, and then we'll send you a free PCS, actual physical PCS binder. Now, you guys, the downloads are free. So grab the link up top. You can easily just run, like, throw your email address in there, and we will um, go ahead and send that directly to your inbox. I say you can print them, you know, if you have a home printer that actually has ink, which who does, but whatever. Jess, you probably have ink in your printer, don't you? <laughs> yep. Yeah, you do. <laughs> I bought ink today, but you can print them out at home or you can send them off to um, a print shop. I have a local print shop that I use for like ridiculous, like one sheet things and I'll run them big. <laughs> so um, print them out and then you should be good to go. But wait until the end of the day and see uh, if you win ours. So we've already got a couple of comments coming in a- or Annie, you're moving in April. That's coming up. Oh, you're going to DC too, I think. Rem- yeah, good. You're going to, you'll be okay. This will be good. Um, and then we'll, har- we'll put a rush on the moving with Littles. Right, Jess? Aren't we going to work yes. on a moving yeah. with littles kind of checklist yeah. and stuff? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, stay tuned. We'll, we'll add in, you know, to this as we go and let you guys know when we have additions. Um, I've got a March comment, and I've got May, June, as soon as a house at 29 Palms opens up. That sounds fun. Ooh. Mar- March and April, that's soon. I know. That's it's quick. a lot of springtime moves, huh? Um, yeah. That's good. I mean... I guess that's that's good. Maybe you'll have less issues. I know the summer is like the hardest time. Um, okay, I'm going to go single view for this, you guys. Check. <sighs> Don't judge me, all right? <laughs> I need to do this without any kind of judgment. So this is it. This was my big move from D.C. to breath. Look how empty, <laughs> first of all. <laughs> There's like nothing in it. These are all of our like inventory slips. We have, this is literally just like, I just have a plastic thing to hold stuff. It didn't have any kind of rhyme or reason. It's literally just like, look, I fought with the movers, the moving company. So I have tons of documentation on that. I have receipts from lodging, tar- lots of Target receipts. Like I said, <laughs> they had our stuff held hostage essentially um, for like six or eight weeks they had half of our shipment in storage like literally a mile from my house they wouldn't release it to me so we didn't have like towels and I mean you know like all the they didn't let me pick what I got first it just kind of literally half of our stuff went away so I had like a bookcase with no shelves you know it's like really not so anyway so I had to fight for like a reimbursement they give you like a hardship sort of allowance to have the voided check in here (laughs) because I don't know thought I might need it um all of these receipts and you know we had like four different moving companies because of the way they did the oh my god i'm getting like flashbacks i might need to close this up i'm gonna need you to close that close it up are you okay <laughs> so i just <laughs> yeah. have like and none of this is like in the folder <laughs> it's just like loose leaf paper oh man you guys i don't know how i get through my life um i did look i tried to do a little checklist 
<laughs> printed it off of something. Um, this is not inspiring. This does not help you live your best life or move your best move at all. But look, I did do like a, I mapped out my living room. That's fun, right? So like I was trying to buy new furniture is what it was. Oh, and then look, some more receipts. I have a dentist appointment card in here. You know, all good stuff. So just be glad that you're, you've got Jessica available <laughs> and that she came on board to help us produce a beautiful PCS binder for you guys with an actual system and just like stunning like graphics. It's gorgeous. It's inspiring. So thank you, Jessica. <laughs> I took one for the team on that. Jen, I see you. I love you too. Thanks for the support. <laughs> it's just as I love you. <laughs> I'm a hot mess, y'all. But it works. So, um, okay. So grab your grab your binder download. It's in the comments. Um, go ahead and toss in the month that you're moving. Okay. We really want to give away one of these pretty binders. Jess, can you hold it up again so we can see? Oh, yeah. Let me move this comment. Yeah, it's so pretty, you guys. So what you'll get in the download is all of these sheets. And they're all full color. I mean, you can print them in black and white if you want. Um, but they come with, um, there are, are there five checklists? Five? Um, Four? Uh, well, yeah, because there's the move checklist. checklist, and then there's one for, like, men, men women, babies, yeah. family. Yeah, so we've broken it down to so take what you need. You know, if you don't need the baby one, that's cool. Um, yeah, so take what you need. There's the tips section, which, again, will grow, and we'll evolve that, and we'll we'll let you guys know when we update it. So if you have an older version, you can update your, your copy. Um, and we want to hear your tips, too, you guys. Throw your tips in the comments. So once you kind of go through the files and everything, or, or maybe you have – you know what? You know what would be fun? If you guys have a PCS binder that you're really proud of, take yes, a photo of yes. it and throw it in the comments. We'd love to see. We, we, yes. We'd love it for like inspiration and just to kind of get everybody's like attitude shifted into, okay, I got to get organized and it doesn't have to be like overwhelming, right? Yeah. I mean, it can yeah. be, but it doesn't have to be. Like, right. let's stay on task. Let's figure out. And you know what would be cool too is if you guys see somebody that's posting like, hey, I'm moving in April. And you want to like hold each other accountable? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go ahead and like you know send them a what's up in the comments and and have like a PCS accountability buddy. Like, have you have you taken the wall hangings and curtains down and washed them yet? <laughs> <laughs> Could be fun. So okay, anything else? Any parting words, Jess? Um, I would just say whatever. If there's things that you need to, mm -hmm. um, let Kelly and I know, and I mean it. Like, yeah. I mean. Like, this is my sixth PCS, like I mentioned earlier. Um, I do have three younger children, so that's kind of the season of life we're in. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm definitely going to bring you some toddler tips and how to move with them and make it fun. Uh, but other things, what else do you need? Because yeah. we've been through it, um, and I would have loved someone to come alongside me six moves ago <laughs> and oh. said, hey, Jess, let me help you out. You know, here's some tips that will make your life dreamy-ish. Yeah. Um, moves cannot be dreamy, but they can be dreamy ish. So let us be that, you know, and that's why when we say like moving the Millie way, we want to make it simple. We want to make it easy. Um, and we just want to be there for you. I know that sounds cheesy, but it's legit. Um, it's because yeah. I, and I told whenever I came on with Millie, I'm like, I wish I would have had Millie like years ago. Uh, and that's what we've become. We just want to be this place that provides resources that genuinely helps you. So let us know what you need because that's my job with Millie. And I want to help you, um, and give you what you need. So yeah, that's yeah. Kind of so we're here to support you guys. Like Jess said, we're here to support you with like content, materials, tips. We're happy to bring in experts into the group yep. too. And we we have some really fun ones already planned, you guys. Yep. So stick around for those and make sure that you are, you know, tuning in, set your notifications on for when we go live. Um, if it's something that you can catch, um, definitely catch it live so you can, you know, ask us questions and cause we're going to be bringing in people from all sorts of industries and, um, areas of expertise to help us kind of navigate PCS stuff. So like all the questions that you have, if you have an expert that you'd like us to bring in because you have specific questions about something, let us know. Cause we can probably find somebody to come in and answer those questions live in the group yep. for you, um, which could be really cool. So, um, and then also, yeah, you guys don't forget about our scouts. So we yeah. have our network of Millie scouts and these are all military spouses. Um, they're independent contractors. So they're like doing their own thing kind of, you know, alongside Millie. Uh, but they are available to tap into for expertise, for help, yeah. for resources. And they're on the ground. We have, I think we're up to 150 
scouts now. Close to. I, I don't quote me on that, but we're pretty close. Um, these these. These women are amazing. Um, they will answer questions for you. You can get on the Scout platform. You can ask them here in the group. They should be, you know, hanging around um, and commenting and stuff. If you have questions about specific duty stations, uh, these are like your local experts. So tap into them and see if they can, you know, help answer questions or help actually perform tasks for you where you're headed. Um, okay, Annie says, oh, she's got a tip. All right, let's throw it up. Uh, let's see. There we go. Annie again says, if you have fur babies, make sure they are updated with their shots. Yeah. One of these, this ma this was, well, actually, uh, my dog has a folder this size. So we just bring yeah. the whole folder cause he's a, yeah. he's, he's a disaster, but that's an yes, awesome that's tip. Great, great tip. And actually we could probably have a whole list for pets. Um, yeah. find a doggy daycare. Oh my God. Yes. Cause it stresses them yeah. out. Um, for dogs out of the way during packing, unloading, unpacking. I have two Siberian Huskies. It's always been a big help. Yeah, I bet yeah. that's huge. I actually had a little dog once that had anxiety every time she saw a moving box. Like, honestly, truly. <laughs> well, I moved so much in college, and it was always yeah. kind of drama, you know, when you did that. <laughs> like, um, she was kind of traumatized by it. So every time she saw a cardboard box, she had in the closet. Um, so especially <laughs> if you have a sensitive dog. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. That's a great that, tip. That, yeah, thanks, so Annie. Good. Appreciate it. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, okay. Um, I think that's it. You guys grab your copy, throw your month that you're PCSing in the comments, and we will let you guys know either later this evening or first thing tomorrow morning, who is getting a shiny new PCS birthday. <laughs> of all things to get excited about, this is a good one. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay, everybody, we're going to go. Have an awesome day. Enjoy your week. It's Monday. Approach it with the same awesome attitude that you always have. Okay. Thanks so much, Jess. I really appreciate you coming on. You're welcome. Okay. <laughs> okay. Bye, you guys. Bye.